fights yeah. Sort out all the lies Oh baby, yeah oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine Oh yeah I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my autumn edit. These are the pieces that I'm most excited about wearing for autumn. It's a mix of some older items as well as some newer items. I'm not covering bags in today's video just because I have a whole nother video coming very soon dedicated to autumn ready bags. But I am covering clothes and I think I have one accessory in here as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So I'm going to dive right in with some of my favourites and I'm not going to lie, a lot of these do veer a little bit more towards colder weather favourites just because the weather has turned like so quickly as in I was sure that September last year wasn't this cold and then I looked back through my phone and I went to the Chelsea Flower Show last year, I was still in sundresses and now we've like put the heating on, we're in sweaters, <laughs> like it's really, really gone very cold very quickly. So I kind of switched a little bit to already thinking about more bundled up layers, just because I think that's the way it's headed, at least here in the UK. Uh, my first piece is a coat, which I am crazy, crazy excited about because this is a coat cape combination, which I've never had in my wardrobe before, but as soon as I saw it, I just loved it. Um, so it's this beautiful kind of, I'd say it's like an oatmeal beige color. It's really, really pretty. And it is just like a traditional coat. So you can wear it just as a plain coat. You don't need to wear it any other way if you don't want to. The tailoring on it is absolutely beautiful. It is a double breasted style um, and it is fully lined. It's beautiful, beautiful quality. And it just fits in the most dreamy way. Like the detail on it is just stunning. But what I particularly love about it is it's absolutely fantastic a side slit on the body, if that makes any sense. So essentially, if you want to wear it just as a cape, you can do. So you achieve that really, really chic kind of coat over the shoulders look while still being super functional and having use of your arms without your coat falling off because I always admire that look so much but I never understand the practicality because as soon as I try it, my coat falls off because I need to use my arms and I've never been able to actually wear it in real life. I saw this and I was like, yes, like this is exactly the solution to my issue and I just think it's so chic and gorgeous, like I absolutely love it. Such a clever design, like really elegantly done. Um, again, if you don't want to use the cape though, you don't have to. You just have that jewel option. I feel like this is going to look great with everything from a skirt to faux leather leggings. Really versatile, a beautiful cut. I love the colour as well. And just like the funnest design, which I also think is super classic. So I am beyond thrilled with this, you may be able to tell. Um, but I just think it's such a clever design. And I think it is the most gorgeous coat. The coat cape is from Karen Millen, as are quite a few items in this video. They are nice enough to part sponsor this video, and they have so many beautiful new items at the moment. I feel like when it comes to tailoring, it's really where they come into their own. Like, they do beautiful dresses and skirts as well, but tailoring, they are just so great for, and they're just so flattering in their cuts, and I just absolutely adore them. So, perfect if you're looking to invest in a beautiful coat. They also have some gorgeous knitwear, just so many lovely pieces, and I will be including links to everything in the description section if you wanted to check anything out. I also wanted to do a quick mention of this beautiful navy coat, and this one's a little bit too similar to something I already own, so I'm not keeping this one, but I thought it was such a fantastic find that I wanted to share it quickly with you anyway. It is the most gorgeous classic coat, like it's beautifully tailored, very, very classic in its cut and design. The quality is lovely, it's fully lined and the material, it's a very nice kind of thick wool material, very, very substantial and structured without being kind of overly heavy unnecessarily, but still a very decent weight. So this can be your all winter long coat, as long as you don't live in the Arctic or anything like that, but here it'd be absolutely perfect. It is double breasted and then you do have that tie as well and you have these beautiful gold button details all the way throughout so you have them on the sleeve, you have them around the waist as well, just really elegant and I love the fact that with the collar you can both stand up 
and fold it down depending on how you want to wear it. Really versatile and it's just an absolutely stunning design. Really, really lovely. Definitely want to check out if you're just after a very classic timeless coat, you know, one that you'll just be able to wear for years and years. I thought this was a really beautiful option. Next up is this Ribnet dress, which I am a little bit in love with. It is so, so beautiful. I have really been loving my navy colors recently, and you'll probably see quite a few navy pieces in this video. I just think it's such a nice neutral, and it's just a little bit lighter and easier to wear than black. You know, we don't want to go super, super dark, but you do still want something that's very classic and very practical. I just think navy is a beautiful option. And I saw this and I absolutely loved it. I've really been enjoying my bodycon pieces recently. I went through a phase in summer where it's all kind of loose and flowy, whereas now I actually have a bump rather than looking just a little bit lumpy. Um, I've really been enjoying my bodycon pieces. And this one is so nice, like incredibly flattering. I always feel like you have to be so careful with rib neck pieces because if they are on the thin side, they can kind of bunch and just be a little bit clingy and unflattering way. Whereas this knit is substantial enough that it just skims rather than clings. So, so nice. It does have a very nice amount of stretch, so it's incredibly comfortable as well. On the neckline, it is a slightly thicker rib knit, um, and then you have a divide line, and then it goes into a thinner rib knit. It's really, really lovely, like very elegant and subtle. This one did come with its own belt, so you can wear it with that. You can also wear it with your own belt or you can take the belt off and I have worn it both without the belt and with and I like it both ways. Like I think it's really, really chic. Just a really lovely, easy to wear piece. I think it looks great right now with bare legs when it's not super cold yet, but I think it'll look great later on with tights as well. And I absolutely love this. I also teamed it with the first coat that I showed as well. And I love the combination. I think just a beige and a navy combo works beautifully. And I thought this was so elegant and chic looking. Next up is a cape. And I've spoken before about my love for capes. I just think they're such an underrated autumn winter piece. You know, coats are obviously great for functionality and just being a very classic item. But if you want to be a little bit different with your outerwear and you don't also need something super heavy duty all winter long or all autumn winter long, then a cape is such a beautiful choice. I have my other one from Karen Millen, which I loved a bit. So it's got like that beautiful check pattern, really, really chic. And then I saw they brought out a plainer version and I just couldn't resist. I think this is such a chic thing to pop over leggings. And I think that's the beautiful thing about capes is that you can go really, really basic with the rest of your outfit, you know, just simple pair of leggings, simple black crew neck, and then pop a cape on top. And it looks like you just put in so much effort and it's just so much more elevated than your regular coat or jacket. This one I absolutely love. Um, so this one's a little bit more um, simple, I guess, in terms of the design than my checked one. It's just a simple cut fabric and it drapes in a really, really beautiful way. You have this stunning gold button detail all the way through. And the gold buttons are really, really shiny as well. They're absolutely stunning. So they really pop against the beautiful burgundy. I do believe this one came in a few colors. I've been loving my burgundy and kind of wine shades. I think it's so perfect for autumn and just a really lovely shade in general and very, very wearable as well. I always feel like these kind of rich autumn tones almost act as neutrals as soon as the weather does turn a little bit. And it does just fasten with that great little clasp and you have that really lovely gold hardware through to the buckle as well. So it kind of elevates it a bit, almost acts a bit like jewelry. And it's just so elegant and lovely. Like I really, really think it's so beautiful. This one has almost like a substantial sweater feel to it. It is still fairly heavy, so you do get some decent weight, um, but it's not like a kind of super heavy tweed or anything like that. So perfect for right now. And I just love this. The color and the detailing is so beautiful, and I cannot get enough of my capes. And then it doesn't get much more classic than a good chunky white knit. And for me, there's just something about a nice chunky knit in a paler color. I just think it's so beautiful. And this one I thought was stunning. This one is a cardigan and it's like a cable knit one, but the design is really, really beautiful. There is a very substantial amount of weight on this one. So it's definitely a chunky one in every single sense. Um, but the fabric is also wonderfully soft. So it's also very, very cozy while still being substantial enough that you could wear it as an outerwear piece until the weather does get super cold. 
it is really lovely and you do have a um, kind of tie buckle piece with this beautiful gold hardware so you can choose to tie it up completely or you can just have it open and even if you have it open it really does just drape very beautifully you have a very chunky collar you can just fold it down so it just frames your neckline really nicely you have these great sleeves which you do see that beautiful knit pattern all the way through and it is a nice decent length so great for wearing with leggings you can team this with boots if you want to just absolutely gorgeous it's a really pretty kind of off-white color as well so i wouldn't say it's quite cream because i don't think it's yellow enough um but it's kind of an off-white ivory color really lovely and neutral and just the nicest chunky knit like very soft very substantial and just the coziest thing for when the weather does drop and now for a boot pick and these ones aren't new i got these last year but I absolutely adore them and I have actively been looking forward to wearing these and I love them so much that as soon as I got them I did get the tan ones as well because for me the style is just perfect. I very specifically wanted a to the knee style, I didn't want over the knee, I already had that covered with my Stuart Whitesmith boots which I still love and wear all the time and would 100% recommend if you are looking at them um, but I wanted something that was to the knee rather than over the knee. And these are pretty much perfect in every single way. They don't fall down, which was the crucial thing for me. I didn't want anything that kind of bunched around the ankles that I would constantly have to pull up. These have beautiful structure, despite the fact that they're suede and very, very comfortable. They stay up really, really well. Uh, you do have a block heel as well, so much more comfortable than a stiletto. I also just really like the look. Um, you know, these aren't slippers, obviously they are a very high heel boot, but they're very, very comfortable for the heel height. They have a very classic, beautiful almond toe. And for me, these are just the perfect examples of what they are. And I looked at every single brand, you know, I was willing to spend up to a thousand pounds. You know, I was really looking for a pair of investment boots. These came in way under that. And they've just been absolutely perfect, like such a happy find for me. I absolutely love them and definitely a piece that I'm really, really excited for for the coming autumn winter months. Next up is the classic pattern blazer and I think autumn is pretty much the only time when I really embrace a pattern in a blazer. Usually I'm much more about solid colours but there's just something so wonderfully seasonal about a nice check or herringbone pattern and I just think it's so nice to embrace that when it does come to the colder months. So I have two of my favourites here, um, one's a bit older, one is a bit newer. I got it about I think a month or so ago. Um, this one I actually got for my birthday and I absolutely love it. I've worn it a couple of times already and it just makes me so excited for autumn and even though I don't feel like it's particularly wintry, there is something about the look that is just a quintessentially kind of fall autumn piece, I think. I love the detailing on it. It fits in a really, really beautiful way. The lining is so incredibly silky soft as well. Like it's a very, very nice blazer to wear. It is a little bit oversized, like not crazy so, um, but you do have a little bit of length there. So it's perfect to wear with leggings or a nice bodycon dress if you wanted to. The color I would say, it's all just golden brown shades. Um, so you have kind of some light beiges in there, some darker brown, just a little mix of everything. The button detail is absolutely stunning. Um, as usual, I've just worn mine with the sleeves rolled up, but I just think it's perfect. Like really, really lovely and elegant and just a beautiful classic checked blazer. And then my other one is a bit more of a chunky style. So this is definitely more of an outerwear piece rather than just a kind of simple light blazer. Very, very warm indeed. So you can definitely wear this as a proper jacket. Beautiful silky lining again. I had this on my wish list pretty much all of last winter and I actually got it, I think it was at the end of winter, kind of beginning of spring because it was out of stock in my size for just the longest time and I knew I wanted to nab it as soon as it came back in stock. It is a classic piece, they bring it back every single year, but I just love it. Um, it's a really, really lovely substantial piece. The colouring is a black with a kind of pale beige tweed, um, but you do have like a lot of little specks in the fabric. So there are some oranges in there, some yellows, like it's really, really pretty when you see it in person. And you do have that great, almost like a boucle tweed kind of feel to it. Um, so you have a beautiful amount of texture. And I just think this is gorgeous. Uh, definitely more of an oversized one for sure, but very substantial and just a really, really lovely piece to dress up a simple pair of leggings. 
And my next pick is the slightly elevated sweater and the one I wanted to feature is actually my new green one, um, but for some reason and somehow I have managed to lose the sweater and I don't understand why. I've only worn it twice I think so far and it's literally disappeared. I have searched the entire house. I'm very obsessed about it. I'm gonna do another search because clearly it's got to be somewhere because I didn't take it off whilst I was out. Um, but. I can't find it. So I'm having to show you this cream one. I will insert a clip of me wearing the green one because I only got it fairly recently. Um, but yeah, I am so sad. So if I can't find it, I'm, I guess I'm gonna get another one, but it's got to be somewhere. So I am gonna literally turn the house upside down. Um, but I own this sweater in multiple colors because I love it so much. It's a really, really nice asymmetrical one. I've had these now for, I wanna say like three or four years, like it's been a very, very long time and I just wear them every year. I always get excited to see their new colors and it's just the perfect kind of slightly fancy sweater. You can wear a multitude of different ways as well. It kind of is a little bit tighter in the body and then you can kind of position it how you want to up top. You have these slimmer bat wing sleeves as well and then you can wear it on one side if you want to, you can switch it to the other side. It is a rib knit one, um, it's a very, very soft knit and it does have a lot of stretch to it as well. I own these in two sizes, so I have both the extra small and the small. I'd say there's not a huge amount in it to be honest, so I would just probably go for your regular size. Um, but I just absolutely love these, they are so chic. You can wear them just with jeans, you can wear them with leggings, great with skirts as well, like they really are versatile. They wash and wear very well as well. The ones I got even several years ago, they still look absolutely fantastic. And I do take care of my knits, you know, I mostly hand wash mine, um, but as long as you do that, then they really do see you through and I just think these are fantastic. So would definitely, definitely recommend. I hope I find my green one soon, otherwise I'm gonna be so sad um, that these are just the most wonderful knitwear pieces and definitely something I look forward to wearing every single year. And last but not least, it is the wrap coat. I think there is nothing more chic and just fantastic to wear during the colder months than a wrap coat. And I love my kind of proper tailored coats, don't get me wrong, but when you don't want to go like that fancy and dressy, I feel like a wrap coat is the perfect option because they are so easy to dress up or down and you can just throw them on. You know, you can wear them open, you can wear them closed. Just the options are endless and I love them. Um, so I have the two which I think I'm most excited about this year. I do have a few different styles, um, but I just absolutely love these two. Um, one is new this year and then the other one I got last year. So the one I got this year is another baby blue one. I absolutely love my baby blues, um, but this is just such a beautiful shade. And this is actually a little bit more of a combination of a classic tailored coat with that wrap style. So you kind of get the best of both worlds because you do get that really, really sharp tailoring, but you have the ease of a wrap coat. So you kind of can have that flexibility if you pick carefully. It's also a very nice fabric as well. So it's very nice to touch. The cut on it is just absolutely beautiful. You do have these lovely kind of hidden pockets as well. And then it just buttons up with these hidden buttons. And it is a double breasted one. So you have the two buttons on each side. And then you just have that wonderful tie as well that you can tie it really easily on the front. Really, really elegant. I love the color as well. They do produce this one in the camel color and I think also the black color as well. I eyed it up last year, but I didn't need another black or camel coat. And then I saw this star this year in this beautiful blue color and I just absolutely fell in love. I think it's a beautiful shade and the loveliest, loveliest tailored piece. And then I also have an S Max Mara coat here, and this is the one that I got last year. I do have a few different styles from S Max Mara, but of all the different styles that I own and I've tried over the years, this is by far my favorite. It is the most beautiful fitting, it's the most flattering, and for me, it's the most timeless as well. A lot of S Max Mara coats can be a little bit more boxy in their cut and their fit, whereas this is much more streamlined, which I think leads to a more flattering fit and I just adore pretty much everything about it. Uh, so my one is in the navy color, but I do know that they do these in, I think I've seen like an oatmeal, they do a camel, they do black, they do a few different shades. So it is a classic one that they bring back year after year. 
it just fastens up with the tie closure so there are no button details or anything like that so much more of a relaxed fit but it's very very elegant a beautifully soft fabric i always feel like air smacks mara fabrics are just so wonderful and it's just the perfect wrap coat to me like i cannot say enough good things about this style i absolutely adore it and i know this is a splurge but i feel like even after owning it for just one year i have more than got my money's worth and it's just something that I think will have in your wardrobe for so many years to come. So if you are looking to invest in an S Max Mara or a wrap coat in general, I would highly recommend this one. It's my favorite one of all the different styles I've tried and it just doesn't get old for me. I just adore it. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I will also pop in my sizes for reference. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give this a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. So little and we keep track of time